The simple aim of military action against Syria following the Doma chemical attack, if it happens, will be to stop more such outrages. Even for the cruelest of despots there was no need to use chemical weapons as the area was days from falling to Assad's troops anyway. A wave of retaliatory Tomahawk cruise missiles piling into airfields and chemical weapons installations would also serve as a decisive and extremely violent warning. It will be a warning to Assad and his troops against further ethnic cleansing, torture and oppression of civilians and rebels after winning ground in areas like Doma. The message will be that the West has had enough of the state-sponsored slaughter he has encouraged in years of fighting, despite his claims his troops are only fighting terrorism. U.S. President Donald Trump is considering his options, image, AFP, Donald Trump warns Russia, get ready, because missiles are coming, but if air strikes go ahead, the U.S.-led coalition including British RAF crews and possibly special forces on the ground will have to try to avoid Russian casualties. Russia has had plenty of warning about the possibility of an attack and behind the scenes there may even be deconfliction messages to let Moscow know some of what is happening. Uniformed Syrian troops and scientists will be viewed as fair game if they are part of the dreadful chemical weapons cycle. Britain is under pressure to pay a key role in an attack, especially in the aftermath of the scripple poisoning. Theresa May knows any attack is almost as much a message to Russia as it is to Assad, a cruel and ruthless dictator who gets away with genocide under Putin's protection. Any military action has to be robust and fly in the face of Russia's warning of grave consequences whilst at the same time offering Putin an alternative to escalation. If Putin is back too far into a corner he may feel forced to make a rash move.